John Kohler, OKRaw.com, getting up real early. And uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Wholesale Produce Terminal in Los Angeles and the early bird gets the worm there as much as I like sleeping in till my body wakes me up and I don't like alarms. But we're going to share with you guys in this episode how you guys can get the lowest prices and save the most money on your organic produce here in Southern California by going to the LA Wholesale Produce Terminal. I've been doing this for uh, many months now and I've uh, actually gotten my best way to do it to save the most money and get the b best organic fruits and vegetables that I can. So uh, got to turn off the, uh, the alarm here first and then next we're going to go ahead and sit next to the computer and show you guys the first way that I'd recommend you guys uh, you know, buy some organic produce at the LA Wholesale Produce Terminal. So the first thing I do when I get up is actually uh, pop up my Gmail and what I'm looking for is an email from Shig and Heath and Lejeune price list. Uh, there's basically two main sellers of organic food at the LA Wholesale Produce Terminal. In my last video actually I spotlighted Better Life which I learned about but since then I've learned about Heath and Lejeune and I like them a lot better. They've been seeming more, more consistent. And uh, I just, they're just, they seem to be nicer when I go there. The quality of the produce, a little bit better. Although it is a little bit further away from the terminal. So I'll go ahead and uh, open up that email and uh, pop open their price list here. Let me see, I'm going to download their price list here. So once I'm looking at the prices, besides ordering the things I need to buy, I'm going to look at their prices and look for good deals on things. Now, I've been doing this a while, so I know the good deals and they're going to pop out at me because they're just going to be a lot lower than their normal price. Let's see if I could find anything real quick. I mean, this week they actually have apricots, um, blackberries, blueberries, cherries, and I'm kind of scanning the prices here. And uh, everything is like $30 a case for like figs and stuff, which, you know, definitely better than Whole Foods prices. So, I mean, you'll save money right there if you just want to do a one-stop shop and just go to Heath and Lejeune. 18 pounds of uh, Grapes, for example, this week are 35 bucks for the black seedless, which, you know, around $2 a pound, pretty good. You know, the store's like 3 bucks a pound if you need to get them. Uh, let's see here. Uh, melons are usually pretty good. Check it out. Cantaloupes, 9 count for $30. But check it out. The Crenshaws, 12 count for $13.75. I'm thinking I'm down for some Crenshaws this week. Oh, Fonzie Melon, six count, eighteen ninety five. Fonzie Melon, some I haven't actually had yet. I might get one of those. Gala Melon, some of my favorite, uh, six or eight count for eighteen seventy five, which is good. Whereas they got the Honeydew, six or eight count for twenty eight seventy five. See, that's another ten dollar difference. If you need to get Honeydews, you're gonna pay ten extra bucks. I'm kind of like, okay, man, I can save ten bucks, get some Galas, which actually I prefer better than the Honeydews. So I'll probably get a few melons. You know, the apples right now, it's not apple season, and you're going to get screwed, man. Apples are like, a lot of them are out. Oh, Golden Delicious, actually, the cheapest ones right now. Uh, looks like 36 pounds for 36 bucks, dollar a pound. That's fairly cheap, although for apples, that's a lot, because I like to pay around $20 a box. Not going to get those. Of course, besides all the fruits they have, they also have avocados, uh, the Better count on avocados are the big boxes, so they got Haas, 84, 96 count, 25, 75. That's a good price, because like the 48 counts are 70 bucks. So they're smaller, but they're gonna still be good. And uh, I'm gonna request that they give me the 84 count uh, for 25 bucks, because they're a bit larger, and uh, they'll be good. And of course they got lemons and other things, and of course they got all your leafy green vegetables. So if you do live locally, you can get them generally because I grow a nice large garden. I don't need to buy any leafy greens, although I will look at the deals. And if there's anything outstanding, I will get them. All right, so I've been reviewing the price list that I got from Heath and Lejeune, and I've uh, basically identified the things that I want to order that are really important to me that are, for me actually, pr good prices. I mean. Once again, at the Wholesale Produce Terminal, you never know what you're going to get on the organic side. You might show up there and get nothing organic. And if that, if, you know, you need to eat all organic, you need to probably get your stuff from here because at the regular terminal that we're going to go to, you could save a lot of money, but it's not guaranteed to be organic. So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to email orders at Soli Organic. That's S-O-U-L-L-Y Organic, O-R-G. <laughs> A N I C, um, and I'm gonna. The subject is a uh, will call order for John Kohler, cash customer, 
and then uh, I'm telling them what we what I'd like to get and uh, what I'd like to get today is one box of Crenshaw melons and I'm specifying 12 count uh, 13.75 12 count is actually small uh, Crenshaw's one box of Gala melon six count 18.75 one box of Haas 84 count avocados for 25.75 and one count or one box of baby lettuce 24 count for 14.75 so when I email them this, they're going to basically uh, go ahead and put this aside in their warehouse for me so when I show up, I can pick these boxes out. Now the cool thing is, because it is a will call order, you can decide once you get there and once you see them if you want them or not, and they can actually remove them off your order. So to be 100% safe, you should order everything you need to get from here and then take your chances at the produce terminal. And if you find more than you're you know, wanting at the produce terminal, then when you get here, you can take off some of the things. Uh, the things I've ordered today are prices are actually fairly good so and I doubt I'm gonna find these guys at the produce terminal but you never know so I probably will end up going with these guys so we'll hit the send here so now we sent that off to them they're gonna get that and process it and now we're gonna go to the produce terminal find all the organic stuff that I could muster and uh, so I'll be eating healthy organic stuff this week for the lowest price in Southern California. So I got the GPS set to 800 McGarity Street. This is one of the areas where they sell produce that I'll be going to and I'm about 10 minutes away. So we're going to the terminal and the terminal is like a big complex and actually in the terminal area there's like four main areas I go to. I like to refer to this as the the Vegas place. <laughs> it's a Vegas produce shop and that's where I usually get my cucumbers and sometimes they have peppers and some other deals. The next place I like to go is to the Mexican uh, strip joint. <laughs> where they have sometimes some other really good organic deals. Then we go to the standard uh, Mexican uh, market at the standard wholesale produce terminal. It's like a little square of uh, sellers that sell the produce. And then finally we go just to the standard terminal where I have like one, maybe two favorite sellers to pick up some stuff. So I guess uh, let's uh, get out of here and uh, go to all these places. We're at our first stop, it's the Market District sign there in this big building and on the bottom level there's all these different produce sellers and why I'm here is for Vegas right over there because they have the special cucumbers I get. It's the Baja Organics Hot House Grown Cucumbers. They're always a pretty decent price, nice and small, excellent for juicing or even just crunching straight, put in salads. I love them a lot. In addition to some of the sellers I'm going to go up to and I'm just going to go there and look and see what they got see if they got some organic stuff and pick it up if it's inexpensive. All right, so sure enough, got my cucumbers here. These are the Baja Organics, uh, little baby cucumbers. These guys are beautiful and uh, nice and uh, small and delicate for, for juicing or eating. And this was 22 pounds for a total of $16. I generally like to get these for uh, $20 or less. So now we're at the uh, A Street Produce uh, Market, and this is like the strip mall that I like to go to. They have the produce sellers with good prices. It's uh, 1925 East A Street, so let's uh, come check it out. And I'll share with you guys how the process works here. So this is one of the easiest places to find parking. You literally pull in and there's parking on both sides. Some of the other uh, places on this journey are actually gonna be tough to park. Once you park, just get out, and you're gonna walk along the strip that I'll show you in a minute. And basically these are like little stores that you're just gonna shop at and ask how much things are and buy them. I mean, it's as simple as that. Bring a wad of cash, cash talks, BS walks, and uh, you can bargain to some extent, you know, if you're gonna buy a bunch of different things. So what I'm looking for here are, for me specifically, I'm looking for my majority of organic. So I'm walking by, I'm scanning each booth to see if they have anything with the organic sticker, anything that starts with a number nine any brands that I could recognize and see in the case that are organic. Then I'm going to ask them the price and uh, then I'm going to basically walk the whole strip here and see if multiple sellers selling the same thing and find the ones that have the cheapest price and or the best quality like ripest or most desirable for me and then I'm going to buy them. Of course I do look for other things that are not organic so like I'll buy sometimes non-organic you know uh, mangoes and papayas and so I may get some of those today too. So yeah, we're just gonna go up and uh, walk, and there's always usually a guy in charge that's staying around, and that's the guy you ask for the prices. Now what I'm doing is actually going through papayas, because what I found was that these papayas here are at $10 a case. They've ranged in price from $10 or 11 for like the number twos, 
those are the ones that kind of overripe and we have some bad spots to like around $18 for the for the nice ones that are you know nice and firm not yet ripe <laughs> and probably not gonna be as good so I like to get the ripe ones to save money but you gotta be you gotta really pay attention here when you buy stuff you know you want to inspect the produce when you buy it because you might get ones that are rotten these actually look uh, quite good except for one a little bit rotten so this actually might be the case I uh, end up with one of the things I want you guys to be aware about that I learned uh, quite quickly here is that they tend to reuse boxes. I don't think this is, should be allowed, especially when they're using organic boxes that say USD organic and they're putting non-organic product in there. So I want you to pay attention to this if buying organic is important to you because you may be buying a box that says organic. Many times, you know, they're going to cross it out, but sometimes they will not. So how can you tell that something's really organic or not? Well, you're going to look for this little... Uh, basically a uh, sticker on the box and it's going to tell you organic grapefruit and if like oranges or you know lemons are in there it's probably not the same thing you'll also want to pick up the each individual fruit and see if there's a sticker on there and uh, you know if there's a sticker on there and then if it starts with a nine then it is organic you know if it if it's something kind of weird then you know you might want to pass on it because it may not be organic if this is important to you so the only thing I ended up at this uh, place was a box of uh, papayas for 10 bucks I don't know probably like 35 pounds or so so that's a good price I also did a fact-finding mission so I got some prices on some different things that I like to buy such as you know the papayas I know the kind of going rate for papayas for seconds and number ones and I also know the going rate for some of the coconuts uh, that they're offering here as well as the cactus fruit that I'll show you guys in a minute uh, the cactus fruit here is about $20 a case which is a good price but I mainly get my cactus fruit from the cactus fruit importer dude who uh, usually sells it for less so uh, actually let's hit the uh, main terminal now and see what kind of organic deals I can find so now we're in the main LA wholesale produce terminal complex and then there are two main sections to the complex we got the section over there which I referred to as the Mexican uh, market section and basically it's like a little fortress and you go inside and there's basically stalls so you can think of it kind of like a shopping mall and there's basically sellers every uh, roll up doors uh, you know one seller some sellers have two doors and they have all their produce displayed so uh, what I'll do for you guys is I'll put the address down below this video so you can actually Google it, check it out, find out where it's at. What we're going to do next is actually we're going to go ahead and drive in there and show you guys how to park and show you guys how I work that market there. So now we're driving into the, the main, what I like to say, a Mexican market here. And uh, I want you guys to be aware when, when driving in here is that, uh, and when walking around actually, there's a lot of different forklifts and pallet jacks all over the place, man. And normally they're fairly careful, man, but you have to pay attention to not hit them when you're in your car or okay, get hit, you know, when you're walking around. Uh, and uh, the parking here is right in the center of the uh, strip here. So just, uh, you know, find a place anywhere that's open and park. So this is by far the easiest market to come to if you're only going to go to one, as you guys could see. There's like tons of produce here and you could frankly just get by with just going here. I like to just go to the all the different places to you know provide myself the most options and to get the lowest prices. So the majority of the produce here is uh, mostly non-organic but they do occasionally get a few organic items and that's what I'm after. We're going to see if I can find some today. It's very important to you know be perceptive and look with your eyes for organic packaging, organic boxes, organic crates and know some of the different brands and uh, you're only going to learn this with time. Other than that, they have plenty of non-organic stuff here. And uh, let's see if we can find organics today. So what I'm doing now is just basically got out the car and I'm walking around the market to try to like just see what's available. You know, if I see some ripe stuff I like. I mean, they got some mangoes there that are, you know, a little bit yellow. And these ones are much more deeper color. I'm going to ask and find out the price of these. There's many different sellers here at the terminal, so you're gonna to wanna to go around to different sellers and ask them the price, because this guy might be six, and another guy down the way might be five, for example. But these guys might be a little bit firmer or might be softer. So you wanna, when you buy them, you wanna get soft ones to eat now for a good price, and then you know get some a bit firmer ones for you know just a few days out to eat later. Because if you get all soft ones now, then by the time you're ready to eat them, <laughs> they'll be gone, gone south and ready for your compost pile. So if you guys look closely, like, I mean, from here, I can see that there's grapefruits there, and I can see a little sign that says organic, and uh, we'll go ahead and zoom in for you guys to see that. And you know, that's what I want from this stall. 
um, and get the price on. So as you're walking, you want to be paying very careful attention and uh, be looking at the boxes, you know, and the, the names on the boxes. So I can see from here the organic box over there. But you really have to be paying attention because if you blink, you'll miss it. But I'm kind of like that. I've been doing this a while and I love coming here and using my senses to find the organic fruits for the best prices. This actually happens to be uh, the organic honeydew. They are number twos. They are quite ripe. So now we're at Coco Rico and this is the place I like to get my coconuts. They have a few different kinds of coconuts today. They got the, uh, the brown coconut, which is no known as the meat coconut for the coconut meat. We got the smaller white coconuts here. And uh, that's for the water and the meat, but the kind I'm going to get today are these kind, which is the new kind they're bringing in. And uh, these are the green coconuts like you get off the tree uh, where they're grown in Mexico, and then they shave them down so that you can get into them easier. So these guys are uh, $12 for a case of six. That's about uh, $2 each. Definitely good price, and these are easy to, easier to handle than the big you know, coconuts in the full hut. So I'm going to get a number of cases of these guys today since the coconut water is my favorite beverage in the whole wide world to drink. Plus the meat in here is a jelly meat. And I want you guys to be aware that, you know, these are different than the Thai coconuts you guys get. While they may look similar, the Thai coconuts are dipped in sulfides and uh, fungicide, thymobenzol. And, uh, you know, I don't believe these ones are dipped, but I'm not 100% sure. But these will definitely, you know, last not as long in your fridge. Probably like you put them in the fridge, they'll probably last easily like two weeks. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely get some young coconuts today. All right, so I got the first squirrel we got here. We got two cases of organic honeydews. Each one of these are like 25 pounds. That's 50 pounds to even lift bro. And we got 50 pounds of the honeydews for $12. So man, do the math. That's kick ass. All right, check it out. Score the deal. Organic bananas, 40 pounds each. Guess how much? 10 bucks for two cases. That's 80 pounds of organic bananas for 10 bucks. No better deals than the LA Produce Terminal. I love it. All right, now we got 40 pounds of organic grapefruits here. Purity Organic Grapefruits, 40 pounds. That's 80 pounds in two boxes for a total of 16 bucks. Ugh. That's gonna be a lot of grapefruit juice to drink. All right, next thing we got, case of papayas. These are like number one, so we're gonna eat the number twos first. This box was $15, and check out the color on that, man. This is how you guys should be buying your papayas. Nice and rich color. Most papayas that you see in the store, they're still kind of like green, green, yellow. No, nah, man, they should be a nice orange color. These ones are a bit firm, so we're going to let these guys ripen up before eating any of the other ones that are soft first. One of the things important as a raw foodist is to know where the bathrooms are. There's a few bathrooms here. There's a just built into the wall where a stall would be, and there's one on each uh, side of the building. So actually, I'm going to use a bathroom because I had juice this morning to drink. All right, next. Two more cool things I love a lot, my tropicals. Number one, we got the tropical. Jackfruit right here, a little jackfruit baby, 60 cents a pound, definitely good price. There's like one small bad spot, but other than that, it's really ripe. Uh, when you're picking a jackfruit, you want one kind of like this. You can sniff it, it smells nice and jackfruity. And plus it's a little bit soft, plus it also has a nice color. It's not still green and it's not really hard. Nice, brilliant. Uh, yellow color there. Next, of course, we got one of my favorites. These are the coconuts. So this is a 30 piece of coconuts. Uh, these are small ones, 30 pieces for 20 bucks. Now, when you're picking these white coconuts, you want to get ones that when you shake them, you don't hear any water sloshing around. That means there's the most water. The water is the most important part for me. But actually, I purchased these for the younger meat on the inside that I'm going to make into a coconut cactus fruit uh, milk. And I'm going to pick up the cactus fruits next. We got next here some cactus fruit here. I got uh, three cases of cactus fruits, like 35 pounds each case. They're $18 each case. And I got uh, uh, two of the greens. The greens are nice and firm, so these are gonna last a lot, you know, a lot longer. Even out of the fridge, these guys will last easily a week. No problem, it means our cactus fruits used to grow in the desert, in the fridge, and easily two, three weeks, no problem on the greens. The red's a little bit different story. The red's a little bit softer, so they're gonna have to be juiced a little bit quicker. And what I like to do is, uh, you know, juice like uh, two greens for every one red. that will give you a nice, deep, rich color. And the green ones tend to be a little bit sweeter than the red ones, but the red ones have higher antioxidant content. Last thing I got here at this market are the young coconuts. So these guys actually had eight in each little box here, and it's uh, pre-shaped down, so these are closer to what they would be like in nature, but also yet easy to get into. And uh, these ones, in my opinion, the uh, Coco Rico, 
you know, a shaved down coconut's definitely better than the Thai coconuts. They're fresher and they have a taste more akin to what they would be like, coconuts would be like in nature. So these guys were uh, simply $12 for uh, eight pieces of these small guys and I got uh, five cases total and I got four that had the small guys and I had uh, one case that had six pieces of the larger ones. So uh, this is the recommended water. I encourage you guys to drink instead of the tap water. If you do choose to drink the tap water, definitely encourage you guys to filter it. But the coconut water is living water, you know, much like, uh, you know, fresh juices that I'm gonna make out of uh, many of the different produce items that I bought today. All right, so after I get out of the uh, Mexican area of the terminal, then I come over to the main section. Now this main section, especially if you're new at coming to, coming to the terminal, I just recommend avoiding this section. It's much easier to work with the Mexican section because you just got cash, you ask the prices. Here, this is like where the majority of restaurants and big, you know, grocery stores and whatnot shop. And, you know, they will sell to individuals, but they're not super interested in doing that because they got, you know, big accounts. They're selling pallets at a time too. So for most practical uh, people, you know, I reckon probably not stopping here. They do sell some organic items, but by in no sense is there a lot of organic items on this side over here. So the Banana Co here in the main uh, terminal is uh, one of the places that I like to frequent. There's probably main, two main places that I'll share with you guys that I just personally use. The Banana Co usually has a lot of tropical fruits, so I'll find oftentimes find jackfruit there when I can't find it other places. But they may not always have it ripe, so you want to make sure you get a ripe one because it's not fun spending like 40 bucks in a case of jackfruit that don't quite ripen up properly unless you're vegan and you want to make a jackfruit quesadillas. The other seller I like at this one is the uh, Valley Fresh and they have a lot of uh, hot house grown cucumbers and tomatoes and when I'm not able to get organic ones, I want to come to Maui Fresh and, and get the good prices. So now we're a short 10 minute drive away from the Los Angeles Wholesale Produce Terminal and we're at Heath and Lejeune. This is my preferred seller of organic produce and uh, they're at 1417 South Eastman in Commerce, California and it's in like an industrial park. When you come there's a, a gate so you can stop there and just say hey I'm picking up a Heath and Lejeune. They'll tell you where to go. Generally you're going to want to go to door number one at Heath and Lejeune and uh, park your vehicle, get out and then you're going to come inside and uh, walk up to the second floor. So it's definitely important to get here like you know definitely before nine they close up early so you know they, they want to go home. And you're just going to let the receptionist know that you're here to pick up a will call cash order and once again bring some cash because they can't take any checks or nothing like that. And uh, we're going to pick up our stuff and they're going to bring it out. Alright, got my last case from uh, Heath and Lejeune. This is all organic here. And what we got today was uh, organic avocados, 84 count. Uh, you know, some of these guys are soft and some of these guys are more firm. And uh, so little organic avocados, uh, $25 for 84 pieces, definitely a good price. And uh, you know, they're not all super soft, so that's really good. Next thing we got, some uh, specialty melons here. We got the organic galas. And uh, this is the uh, eight count number twos. These are nice and firm, these are gonna keep. And then I love the flavor of galas much more than the cantaloupes. This is a bit spendy at $18, but still, you know, these guys go for a lot more in the store. Finally, we got a case of the uh, Del Cabo. Um, Crenshaw melons. I definitely love Crenshaws. These guys are nice and firm. These guys in the fridge will store easily like two weeks. So, you know, we're going to eat some of the other uh, fruits that we have that are softer now and then some of the other ones, you know, are going to save for later. Melons in general in the fridge tend to store longer than, you know, some of the other fruits that I got. And uh, this case here was like $13.75 for a uh, uh, 12 count of these little delicious melons. I'll probably eat like maybe two, maybe even three of them for one meal. So that pretty much brings me to the end of this episode where I bought all my produce here at the LA Produce Terminal. Saved a lot of money. You guys are going to get the total pop up on the screen. And this is really uh, going to feed two people for one month of uh, lots of fresh uh, fruits. And I'm growing the majority of my vegetables. We just got back from the Los Angeles Wholesale Produce Terminal, unloaded all the car of all the produce we bought there. But I also bought some other stuff that's really important for me to share with you guys. So the first thing we got is uh, went to farmers markets and farm stands and uh, we got a whole bunch of Valencia oranges. This is uh, actually 13 pounds each bag, so it's like 26 pounds. It's like, I don't know. 
10 bucks or something is like super cheap man lots of uh, organic valencia oranges and i want to encourage you guys actually to visit farmers markets first before going to the la wholesale produce terminal while the wholesale produce terminal prices may be less you know in most cases you can get higher quality produce grown locally that's picked fresher more recently to the time you're purchasing it plus you can negotiate you know bulk volume deals you know if you buy large quantities from local farmers and in some cases such as in the uh, citrus get even better prices than are available at the terminal now another thing I bought actually at some farmers markets are my baby plants here you know by far the best food that you guys could be eating is stuff you're growing yourself whether that means have your own fruit farm or like me you know I buy the majority of my fruits and I grow the majority of my vegetables I have many different vegetables here such as a dinosaur kale regular kale uh, different kinds of basils arugula uh, longevity greens all different kinds of cool stuff that literally in some cases money cannot buy this is very important for me to you know instill within you besides just going to wholesale produce and I get the cheapest stuff you know grow your own because it actually can be cheaper and will be much more nutrient dense and full of nutrition especially the phytochemicals and phytonutrients how I work my diet is I get the majority of my calories from my fruit, but I get clearly the majority of my phytonutrients and phytochemicals that are very important for me because these are the things that help prevent cancer and you know uh, keep you young, all this kind of stuff, phytochemicals and phytonutrients in the plants. So if you're interested in learning how to grow your own foods, be sure to check my other YouTube channel, growingyourgreens.com. I have over 950 videos to date on that channel teaching you guys how to grow your own food so that you guys could you know get out of the industrial agriculture system as much as i'm a part of that i want to encourage you guys to grow your own hope you guys enjoyed this episode once again my name is john kohler with okraw.com we'll see you next time and until then keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables they're always the best all right this is john kohler with okraw.com today we have another exciting episode for you and in this episode what we're going to do is we're going to go open the van here and share with you guys what i'm eating this month